this court martial already take place now Cochrane. Um this na thirteen accused Al Slav personnel them. We they accuse them for the role they play. Um during the November twenty-six attempted coup. Um which would have witnessed so that the first session of um some of them we they don't adjourn the young matter to tomorrow. Um, we will witness the second badge of the other accused um, personnel. So let on the see um, the prosecution starts the opening. We said um, make the statement, the young findings, the charges they wouldn't get against the accused persons. We, the prosecution, say then get evidence for support all and claims. Also, the defense also reacts. They call for justice. They advise, say, let emotion not play any part in this process. Let justice taking cause. So, after we, the judge don't listen to both parties he don't graciously adjourn this particular session to tomorrow while we wait for the other badge of accused personnel personnel for letting also come stand the prayer so as the session over then take a break we will come back for continue the live coverage. Thank you very much. Continue to follow the Ministry of Information and Civic Education and all we platform them on the social media, Facebook, Twitter, um, WhatsApp channel, Instagram, YouTube. For like you always get factual, timely and accurate government information. Thank you very much for watching. Continue to share. Thank you. session is starts now. All the accused persons are present. So now listen to it and they can see. Yeah, this is not the Facebook page you number know, the live. Sorry about that. You they ask about the YouTube live.
comes in SMCC. Major T Gala. Major E.K. John. And M.K. Kalil. All for the state. Kurz reis.
My Lord, all seven accused persons acted jointly or severally to engage in unlawful acts and conduct, amounting to mutiny aimed at undermining or removing the government of the Republic of Sierra Leone. The first accused was the quartermaster at 15th Battalion, Lumi. As a custodian of arms and ammunition, he was approached by Amal Kweta, Amal Kweta Bakalo, and Abu Dauda, convicted felons to provide the keys to the arms and ammunition stores. He failed to divulge this critical security information to the military authorities. He was in communication, in communication with Amal Kweta Makalu prior to the 26th day of November 2023, and he had promised faithfully to give him some arms and ammunition. My Lord, the advocate, Mr. President, and members of the board, the second accused person was arrested at Kabul Street by royal troops. He was seen fully dressed in military uniform and weapon in an area infested by assailants in the morning hours of the 26th day of November 2023 and could not justify how he got to that location after leaving Waterloo and breaching series of security checkpoints. The third accused person was arrested by loyal troops with a bag loaded with uniform and SMG at Pike Street where the assailants were seen on the 26th day of November 2023. He was a member of the Calamera WhatsApp group, where subversive discussions were held prior to the attacks on the 26th day of November 2023, and had ordered another personnel to join them during the attack. The fourth accused person was seen fully dressed with arms and ammunition at Palemba Road, in the coming of other assailants and had acted as a sentry for the attackers at Pisces Free Tower. The fifth accused person was seen fully dressed in military uniform with LMG at Montana Junction, Free Town among the assailants. He had to replenish ammunition to one Sumba who was fired in the RPG against governmental troops and also rescue Soriva when he was shot on the leg at Wazak Junction during a cross fire with government federal troops. The sixth accused person first deserted his deployment and after the sixth day of November 2023 attack and later showed up in March 2024. He was a soldier who fired the first RPG against government federal troops on the 26th day of November 2023 during the attack at River Force. The seventh accused person was asked by one staff sergeant alone, a convicted fellow, to join them in the coup plan and attack on the 26th of April 2023, and failed to discuss the information to the authorities in Lumia. My Lord, all seven accused persons stand their uh, respective charges as follows, committing civil offense, contrary to section 72 1 of the Armed Forces of the Republic of Sierra Leone Act, 1961, Act of 34 of 1961, as amended, to which conspiracy to commit felony, to commit mutiny contrary to law. Mutiny contrary to section 37 1A of the Armed Forces of the Republic of Sierra Leone Act, 1961. Act of 34 of 1961 as amended. Failure to suppress mutiny, contrary to section 38A of the Armed Forces of the Republic of Sierra Leone Act, 1961, Act of 34 of 1961 as amended. Failure to suppress mutiny, contrary to section 38B of the Armed Forces of the Republic of Sierra Leone Act of 1961, Act of 34 of 1961 as amended. Communicating with the enemy, contrary to Section 31 of the Armed Forces of the Republic of Sierra Leone Act 1961, Act of 34 of 1961 as amended. Communicating with the enemy, contrary to Section 31 of the Armed Forces of the Republic of Sierra Leone Act 1961, Act of 
4, 1961, as amended. Conduct to the prejudice of the mixed discipline, contrary to section 71 of the Amphus of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Act 1961, Act of 34 of 1961, as amended. And the ninth count is desertion, contrary to section 1A of the Amphus of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Act 1961, Act of 34 of 1961, as amended. Again, you know, with your leave, um, I seek to just enumerate the elements of the offenses highlighted. The seven accused persons are jointly charged on 10 counts charged uh, The offense of committing a civil offense is provided in section 721 of the Amphors of the Republic of Sierra Leone Act 1961, Act number uh, 34 of 1961, which leave, sir, 721 provides as follows. Any person subject to the limits in law under this act who commits a civil offense, whether in Sierra Leone or elsewhere, shall be guilty of an offense <coughs> against this section. By section 72.2, which I quote, I read from section 72.2, civil offense means any act or omission punishable by law of Sierra Leone, or which, if committed in Sierra Leone, will be punishable by any such law. The offense of beauty consists of the that in mutiny, either to overthrow or resist local authority in the Republic of Sierra Leone armed forces. Prove that the accused dis uh, disobeyed such authority in such circumstances as to make disobedience subversive of discipline <coughs> or with the object of avoiding any duty or service against or in connection with the operations against the enemy. Prove that the accused impeded the performance of any duty or service in the armed forces Republic of Sierra Leone or in any forces operating therewith or in any part of any of those forces. Prove that the accused involved in the, in the use of violence or threats of the use of violence. Prove that the accused had as an object the refusal or avoidance of any duty of service against or in connection with the operations against the enemy or the impeding of the performance of any sort of duty or service. For the offense of mutiny, it further consists to prove that the accused incited other person who is also subject to service law to take part in such mutiny. The offense of failure to suppress mutiny consists of the following elements. To prove that the accused persons were subject to service law or were serving members of the ISLA, we will endeavor to do all accused person. Prove that the accused knew that a mutiny was taking place or intended. Prove that the accused failed to use best or utmost endeavor to suppress or prevent mutiny. But prove that the accused had failed to report without delay that the mutiny was taking place or intended. <coughs> the offense of communicating with the enemy is provided in section 31, 1, and 2 of the Armed Forces Republic of Sierra Leone Act, 1961, Act of 34 of 1961, as amended. The provision reads, any person in section 31, subsection 1, sorry, any person subject to the law under this act who is intent to assist the enemy communicate with or give intelligence to the enemy shall on conviction by court martial be liable to suffer death or any other punishment provided by this act. Subsection 2 of 31 says any person subject to the law under this act who without authority communicates with or give intelligence to the enemy shall on conviction by court martial be liable to punishment 
So imprisonment or any less punishment provided by this act. For the offense of desertion, it consists of the following elements. Prove that the accused person were subject to the service law or were some members of al -Strat. Prove that the accused persons deserted or persuaded or procured any person subject to service law to desert. For the offense of conduct, so the prejudice of military discipline, contrary to Section 71 of the al Act of 1961, Act of Attack of 1961, Section 71 provides as follows. Any person subject to military law under this Act who is guilty of any conduct or neglect or the prejudice of any good, order, or military discipline shall on conviction by court martial be liable to imprisonment for a term not exceeding two years or any less punishment by this act. My Lord, the joint advocate, presidents, members of the board, it is the responsibility of us as the state to prove each and every element of the offenses that are just categorized. The burden is on the state to do so. I wish to draw again your attention to Lord to a famous celebrated case which is in the bosom of the judge advocate of unity and dignity and ID owns. Not just for the benefit of the public, which will leave, sir, or just the reputation. Now, throughout the work of the English criminal law, one word and fear is always to be seen, and that is the duty of the prosecution to prove the prisoner's guilt. If at the end of all the old case, there is reasonable doubt created by the evidence given, either by the prosecution or the prisoner, as to whether the offense was committed by him, the prosecution has not made out the case, and the prisoner is entitled to the future. No matter what the charge or where the charge or the principle that the prosecution must prove the guilt of the prisoner is part of the common law of England, which would adopt it, and no attempt to whittle it down can be entertained. Again, I call the attention sir, to the case of court. This is, these are among several authorities that will be addressing you, but just them to show for a start, so they know all of these persons are comfortable that we are not here to reach out any individual. Had it not been for an offense or offense that we have created, we would not have been here. In the case of courts, in court, my lord, the parliament can never lightly be taken to have intended to impose an onerous duty on a defendant to prove his innocence in a criminal case. And the court should be very slow to draw any such influence from the language of the statute. If we just suppose that with the victim of Lodeni, we succinctly explain the degree of proof beyond this little doubt. In the case of Miller, it says that it need not reach the certainty. It need not reach the certainty, but it must carry a high degree of probability. It need not reach the certainty, but must carry a high degree of certainty. Well, and then he said that it did not reach, that it must not reach the certainty, but must carry a high degree of probability. Proof beyond reasonable doubt does not mean proof beyond a shadow of a doubt. If the evidence is so strong against a man as to, as to leave only a, a remote possibility in his favor, which can be dismissed with the sentence, of course it is possible, but not in the least probable that the case is proved beyond reasonable, reasonable doubt, but nothing short of that will suffice. It is respectfully submitted to law that the court martial determines in respect of allegations in the charge sheet, which the prosecution will leave evidence and prove the case beyond reasonable doubt by evaluating the evidence in its entirety and whether the prosecution has laid out a case against an accused person to warrant a conviction at the end when you are summing up. <laughs> well, in the early hours of, of November 26, 2023, about 2 a.m., 
the accused persons and other unknown engaged in sporadic and indiscriminate shooting at various locations within Twitter. After some of them had broken into the army at River Coast Barracks and cutted away with quantity, huge quantity of arms and ammunition, which were subsequently used in a sporadic shooting. While engaged in the shooting, some of the accused persons called out on other military personnel and encouraged them to join them in overthrowing these accused in their quest to carry out their aims and objectives, indiscriminately shot at civilians and also killed some members of their kind who attempted to kill them. Remember 26, 23, you know, goes down in history as one of the days that we've had the highest amount of death of Sabi personnel. I'm not talking about the war, but during the intervention to overthrow and legitimate government. Some of the accused also proceeded to the male and female correctional centers in Freetown and unlawfully released the inmates, calling them to join them in their quest to overthrow the legitimate government of Sierra Leone. The royal forces of Amsterdam subsequently reorganized and repealed the accused and others unknown, arresting some and returned to town to Freetown and the country as well. My Lord, the advocates, the suppressed members of the board, some of these accused persons in whose hands were entrusted for the security of the state and the people of Senegal abdicated their safety and political responsibility by conspiring to steal and actually stole the same arms and ammunition, violently used them to engage in acts of mutiny and other unlawful acts of omission contrary to the dictates of good order and military discipline. I therefore urge you, my Lord, Mr. President, members of the board, to carry out your sacred duty to determine the fate of these gentlemen who we are enlisted to serve man and country, and who deliberately or negligently abandon why they are called soldiers, and instead, Turn away from the principles of good order and discipline. Mr. President, members of the board, we know you, are all, we know you all took the oath of allegiance to serve man and country, and you are well placed to know whether that oath was kept by these accused persons. You should, Mr. President, and members of the board, the impartial and not its influence by sympathy, affection, and any other sentiment. It is in the interest of justice to the evidence before this court martial. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Mr. President, and members of the court. Thank you very much.
by their conduct. Through this contact, you all are men and baby of integrity. Mr. President and members of the board, I implore you not to depart from that beautiful impression. The second of Jews, for instance, again, was obeying the lawful order. He was instructed to meet his superior at Tower Hill. And on the verge of going there, he was captured by his unknown government. Mr. President and members of the board, that would not be a strange for me, as you hear evidence from prosecution's witnesses who will come to this court and tell you that they were captured. Again, Mr. President and members of the board, the third accused who was returning from Lundi after accompanying his child to the past the jurisdiction. And then when he came to Freetown, only unfortunately to find himself in the midst of his enemies. He was captured, he was arrested, and threatened to join them. He had no option than to do what he was asked to do. Mr. President and members of the board, it is the same for the fourth accused. The fourth accused was also arrested. I know there will be evidence of the fourth accused dressed in military fatigue, seen within the vicinity of Panama. But again, Mr. President and members of the board, I pray that we do not jump into a hasty conclusion to say he was part and parcel of this attack. Mr. President and members of the board, the fourth accused was as well captured and ordered to be faint against his will. But for his safety, he had to heed to the commands or demands of his captors. Mr. President and members of the board, my lord, the fifth accused again finds himself, found himself in such an unfortunate situation, just like the other accused person. And it is the same for the seventh accused. Mr. President and members of the board, on that note, I will urge you, I pray, You take all of the stories into consideration when analyzing the facts before this court. You just oppose them with the evidence that will be presented by the prosecution. And the cardinal principle is that if there is any doubt, it should be resolved in favor of this accused person. If you have the cause to believe that based on a piece of evidence, of two stories that you will jump into two different or three different conclusions, then a doubt will be created. That doubt must be resolved in favor of this accused person. Mr. President, and members of the board, I implore you all on that note to be bound by a good conscience, to be fair, impartial, and dispense justice in accordance with the oath that you subscribe to the court. Okay. 
What do you do for your living? My Lord, I'm a minister of the And you are currently deployed where? I am the money officer and for this possible center. Uh, 
And as commanding officer of Air Force, would you please spend some of your duties? My God, I have two major functions. One, I keep the record of all service personnel in the Republic of Central Armed Forces. I also manage the Republic of Central Armed Forces Bureau.
A1 to 9,000. How about an interstitial exhibits A1 to 9? Yes, the next color, please. Yes, the next color is the first one. And yes, after the first name. We have the picking names. And so on. Now there is the next column. That's the new the last one. The 
Now, Ms. Hans-Gorel, do you, as CEO of AFPC, have any situation in which there is a date of enlistment for someone that has not been recruited into Iceland? Oh, my Lord. Now there is the NIN. How do you get the mobile numbers? You have an update form that we use to bring up the personal computer and the mobile number is part of that update form. Now, 
he identified the constant fumes as a major and the quartermaster master at the same battalion. Yes, there is a number there stating SL782. Let's go to see on number three. Let's go to the next year number. Now, you testify on that next year number earlier that some corrections were made to the personnel's number. Yes, Could you please assist the court? How did you arrive at that conclusion that corrections were made? Yes, So 
now be the that CL number four containing the name Alpha Wolf Cotton. Yes, madam. With the line of the corporal. Yes, madam. Could you tell the court to please correct service number? Yes, madam. This is the case for the attorney. This is the case for the Thank you. 